I'm actually happy that this tape came out because it is opening up a conversation, but I don't want the conversation to just be about like, Trump is awful, because he is, one, but two, this gives us a, a moment to speak about the way men talk about women when they think women aren't listening. All good points. And for me, it was, when I first heard the, the audio, I wasn't grossly offended mm -hmm. like a lot of other people were. And the reason for that was is I have been in very similar conversations with other men about it. And I know there are athletes and there's gonna be men out there who don't wanna say this, and I'ma say it. There are a lot of men, and I'm gonna put myself as a guilty one, who has made very inflammatory, derogatory comments when we are with our other with other men mm -hmm. regarding women. Minus grabber by the you know what. Yeah, I, I, now that has never come out of my mouth. But I want, I'm gonna look at this from in the entire perspective. Is and I know there have been you know, other athletes who've been interviewed and saying, you know, we've we don't say that. It's men say it. This is what we talk about. We talk about money, we talk about sex, we talk about women. That is what men talk about. And to hear the the extreme, I won't say the extreme response, but to hear the very emotionally charged responses about it had me go back to myself mm -hmm. and be like, damn, like am I contributing to a culture, a conversation that is really doing damage to not That's only our society, society, but to women as well. Like yes, it, yes you are. And I had <laughs> never, ever thought about that. So I've, yeah. I've just kind of remained really quiet on it. And I remember when he issued his apology, I just really wanted him to say, cause I was like, man, I'm, if somebody had a, a hidden microphone to me when I'm with my guys and something comes out, y'all gonna be like, Justin, you gonna have some explaining to do. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm, I, so I'm gonna just tell you now, like, I'm gonna I'm be 100. Now if you ask me to recall exactly what I, I don't, I don't know, mm -hmm. but I know for, I can confidently say, and this isn't a proud thing to say, but I can say I know I have made derogatory, inflammatory comments that if my wife heard, if other women would have heard, they'd be like, damn, Justin, what the hell is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. And that just is how us men have been groomed, and I'm not making excuses of it. And going back to what I was saying, when he issued the apology, I just really wished he just would have said, these are the comments I made, I regret them, they were 11 years ago, I'm sorry, looking forward to the debate. No qualifiers, not even this, they were 11 years ago, like, I'm just sorry. Just sorry, I'm sorry I, I made and the I'm comments. And I'm ashamed, I think he did say he was But I, I, think it is a, I think it is important to say that it is 11 years ago, because people do mature. Yeah, and, and, and this is, because Billy made the comment in, in, in his apology as well, and he said, I, I was young and naive mm -hmm. 11 years ago. And, I, and to say that, right, that's Someone, that but, someone is the same 11 years later is not okay, necessarily but Trump true. could have said that yesterday. Like he's been no, saying I, 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 things in, in this vein again, in public. Again, I, 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 and that's why it's it's so charged because he still had says right, made or made comments bad. very similarly to this. But I'm just saying that you we can't just dismiss right that. Oh, it happened 11 years ago. It doesn't matter. No, it does. Who I was at, at 17 years old, no, 16 years old, is vastly different than who I am at 27. And if I'm gonna be held responsible, or say this is who you are at 16 and who I was at 27, I would hope that someone would still be able to look and say, hey, there's still some, some character relations. I get that, but it would like in Billy's case. I, I, I'm, I understand you, it, what you're. Proof of that, but like I said, for Trump, his character has not changed. So it's like in this specific case, it's not relevant. But this, if that's such a small thing to nitpick, it just bothered me because I'm clearly irritated by the entire thing because it is it's, it's encouraging predatory behavior, which is ultimately very damaging for a female because this is the kind of thing that promotes rape culture. And that is a very real fear and danger for women. Like this is what we are constantly you know, running to our cars at night and like running with the keys between our hand and locking doors behind us and looking over our shoulders or making sure there's enough light to get to wherever you need to go. Like that is why we're living in a state of constant fear is because of this behavior and that kind of talk perpetuates that. And, and I can tell you now that I had never in my mind thought at all that these comments that I'm having with my guys is contributing to anything of that culture. I would have mm -hmm. never in a million years, never. Right.